Question 25 is an application problem on exponential functions. It says a 90 gram sample of plutonium 238 has a half-life of 88 years. How long will it take for this sample to decay to 40 grams? It's a radioactive material so it decays, right? Now how long will it take to decay to 40 grams? So let's understand what our half-life formula was. So we say mass remaining with time is original mass is 90 grams, correct? So we now formalize original mass into half over t over half life, correct? Now here we know we have to find the time when the mass remaining is 40 grams. We start with 90 grams of mass. So we can say 40 equals to 90 half to the power of t over half life which is 88 years correct now we have to find this t so one way is to estimate using your calculator right you can plug different values of t and find the answer and the second way is to use log right so i taught you log in the previous example also let's go through it again so what we can do here first we have to divide 40 by 90 so you get 40 over 90 right equals to half to the power of t over 88. Now you can take log both sides. When you take log, it becomes log of, let me write this as 4 over 9 equals to t over 88. So this comes here, right? And then log of half, right? Let me write 0 0.5 for here. Now from this equation, we can find time, right? So let me write here t is therefore equal to, so we'll first we'll have 88 times log 4 over 9 divided by log 0 0.5 so and we can use calculator to find this answer so we should do let's do log portion first so log 4 divided by 9 within brackets divided by log of 0 0.5 within brackets equals to 1.169 and we'll multiply this by 88 to get our answer and it is 102.9 so which is 103 well so if the half-life is 88, so it would be half the size in grams, 45 in 44, uh, double, I mean, uh, in 88 years, right? So when we want to reduce it to 40, so that means we are expecting an answer more than 88 years. So that seems to be the correct answer, right? So we say time after 103 years, 90 gram sample of plutonium 238 will be 40 grams so that's what we are trying to say here right so we'll approximate 102.9 to 103 right so that is our answer as i said uh, you can estimate and to estimate you should try with numbers you know and after 88 it will be from 90 to 45 correct so it has to be more than 88 then you can try numbers like 100 and then you'll come closer and closer and get your answer perfect so therefore our solution here is how long will it take for this sample to decay to 40 grams so it will take 103 years for a sample to decay to 40 grams okay so that's a solution try to go through the solution and those who haven't done log it is an opportunity for them to understand it look into your books for the basics and well this way you get very accurate answers and very fast thank you